what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Despite spending most of the Trump administration calling people snowflakes for refusing to accept disrespect, white conservatives are trying to whitewash history to protect the delicate minds of their dun 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 brainwashed children. The critical race theory has become one of the hottest topics in politics as elected officials, white Republican ones, fight the bloody truth about a country they have vowed to uphold as the greatest nation on the planet. Pull up a chair, kids. Uncle Willie want to talk to you. Listen to me and listen to me closely. I would not lie to you. Despite what Tim Scott, Lindsey Graham, or Vice President Kamala Harris would have you believe, America is indeed the racist country on the planet. Make no mistake about it. Let me say that again, kids, for all of you whose parents will probably lie to you about race in America. America is a racist ass country. Evidence of such racism is all around us in abundance. We're inclined to believe that the aforementioned politicians know this to be true even if it's politically inconvenient to say it out loud. However, if one needs a specific example of the racist nature of the United States of America, you needn't look any further than the visceral rejection of the 1619 Project and the critical race theory. Sorry to scare you kids, <laughs> it's the lies for me. I couldn't take it anymore and I don't want you to take it anymore. I know that you are a God-fearing, honest, productive, loving, truth-seeking human being. I don't want you to be like your parents and their parents and their parents. I want you to grow. I want you to go forward. Societies are supposed to go forward, not backwards. I want you to go forward with the rest of the civilized people. You can do it. I'm gonna help you. Take one step and I promise you the next will be easy. Come in a little closer, a little bit closer. For those of you unfamiliar, CRT teachings began in the 70s under the examination of writers and scholars like Derrick Bell Alan Freeman, Kimberly Crenshaw, Richard Delgado, Cheryl Harris, Charles R. Lawrence III, Mari Matsuda, and Patricia J. Williams, who posited that whiteness protected itself via the legal system. It also affirmed that changing the relationship between law and race would help free black folks and other minorities from a system designed to benefit whites. We see no lies. However, this concept is a threat to white folks if you let them tell it. Right-wingers, conservatives, and Republicans all recoil at the idea that wantonly calling the police on a black person in, say, Central Park is steeped in racism. They protest the idea that their alabaster nature has in any way led them to devalue melanated people. This is why, according to the Daily Mail, Three states, Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Idaho, have all signed laws banning CRT from public schools. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of the truth. They're afraid that those little white kids are going to learn the truth about their lives and the lives of their parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and beyond. This is what Governor Stitt, Kevin Stitt, had to say about his banning of CRT. As governor, I firmly believe that not one red cent of taxpayer money should be used to define and divide young Oklahomans about race or sex. That is what this bill upholds for public education. We must keep teaching history 
and all of its complexities and encourage honest and tough conversations about our past. Nothing in this bill prevents or discourages those conversations. We can and should teach this history without labeling a young child as an oppressor or requiring that he or she feel guilt or shame based on race or sex. I refuse to tolerate otherwise. This dude is a piece of work. If America is so ashamed of its racist history, why not try to right the wrongs? Why continue the same course? Why continue to act like your grandpappy and your grandmammy? If you're so ashamed, why continue to do something you're ashamed of? See, I don't believe that they're really ashamed. Some of them are, but I believe the ones, especially those conservatives, they actually like it. But if they were to tell the truth, they would feel that they would have to do something to correct it. So it's best that they live in denial. When you hear people like Kamala Harris and Tim Scott, black folks, even Lindsey Graham tell a bold-faced lie that America is not a racist country. We don't have racist issues. You know, that lets you know. I mean, it's we already know that leadership is is dead. We already know that. But when you hear stuff like that, it's just further confirmation, fam, that you're on your own. These people don't give a damn about you or what you're going through. What's that song? Who was that? J. Cole? Fuck about you and anything that you do. You know what I'm talking about? They don't care. If dirty cops don't like the label dirty cops, all they got to do is stop being dirty. If you don't want people screaming defund the police, earn your check like everybody else. Improve your work ethic. You have a horrible, probably the consistently the most horrible reviews on Yelp and Google. Police departments all across the country, one star. And it's only one star you know because you have to, by default, give at least a star rating, one star rating. And let's talk about this white guilt thing. White folks should feel guilty about the ills that they have caused in society. They should feel guilty about slavery and Jim Crow and planting dope in the hood and mass incarceration and racial profiling and the Tuskegee experiment, Rosewood. They should feel guilty about all of these police killings of unarmed innocent black people. They should feel guilty about the school to prison pipeline, mass incarceration. They should feel guilty about using black people throughout the years for guinea pigs. They should feel guilty I mean, that's where empathy comes in, right? But perhaps if you're incapable of having empathy, then you probably wouldn't feel guilty. Look, fam, if I knew that my parents or grandparents did something really evil that harmed a lot of people, I would feel some way about that. I would feel guilty about it. Yeah, he did it, and he personally did it, but I would definitely not try to benefit. Especially, I wouldn't say, well, you know, I ain't had nothing to do with it and still try to benefit from it, right? Well, I ain't had nothing to do with slavery, and I ain't never owned no slave, but you still try to benefit some kind of way from it, right? He did. I would feel guilty if my family owned slaves. See, that's me. See, because I got a heart. I'm a human being. I, I have empathy, right? I have compassion for people, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't friendly like that. Like, cross me, I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? But if you love me, I love you. You hate me, I hate you. That's the way I rock. 
I'm like that. It's simple. I suspect that many white people won't care at all about the pain they brought upon society. But if you're not going to care, at least know the truth and not care, as opposed to believing the lie and not caring. No more talk. What the haters talking about?